Sure, no problem. Hey, Sarah, how are you going? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Um, just interested in your thoughts from the weekend. I know you didn't get the result, but just in terms of uh, the fight back and how much character the girls showed, just a, a little bit of a reflection on, on the result and their performance. Yeah, obviously um, the start to the game was a bit disappointing, um, but we're really proud of the group about how we fought back. Obviously we didn't get over the line in the end, but I think just what we showed that we can fight back, I think is something positive to take in for the rest of the season. Defensively, you've been absolutely outstanding this year. What was said about the amount of points the Bulldogs scored, it's sort of uncharacteristic to see a team score sort of 49 points against you. Yeah, obviously we haven't gone through our review yet and we'll, we'll look through that process um, during the week um, and, yeah, just reassess. Um, obviously, goals are going to be scored in football. Um, it's going to happen and, and we'll take that into um, the rest of the season and review it, um, what we need to do. And what was the sort of feeling on field when they sort of jumped you a little bit? Was there, I mean, you're the leader of the back line. Did you sort of rally the girls a little bit or was there someone on field that sort of tried to direct traffic a bit more? Yeah, we just um, regrouped. Like, our, our, like usually after each goal scored during a game anyway, we'll all come together and really show our unity. So we just we just stuck to that, came together and reassessed. Obviously, it wasn't the greatest start, like I mentioned, but um, I think, yeah, the way we showed um, how we can sort of just let that go and continue the game and fight back, I think, shows a big, a big uh, thing for our group. And despite the result, do you still feel like you're the best team in the competition? Obviously, um, yeah, not the greatest um, part to our season, but I definitely think, like I said, there's so many positives to take out with that um, fight back. But there's lots of learnings as well. And, um, you know, losing is a part of football and um, it's just something that happens. So we're definitely going to learn from it and we, we want to get better. So this is just going to help us um, get better through the season. Excellent. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. All right, Jace, are you all good? Have we got anyone on from nine? Yeah, sorry, Crouchy's here. Um, speaking in third person, Will here. Um, Sarah, I suppose, um, obviously, as you said, super, must be super proud for the group the way you did fight back because it was a terrific fight back. I suppose just on the start of the game, did were you perhaps a little bit complacent going in against the side that hasn't had the results go their way this year, given kind of you guys have been playing so well? Was there any complacency there? Our mentality going into the game definitely wasn't that it was going to be an easy game. So um, I think they were just firing from the get-go and we sort of took, um, we weren't as sharp in the, that first five minutes. So we definitely take every team um, like any other team. So we definitely didn't think it was going to be an easy game. Um, but yeah, they were obviously just a lot more ready to go in that first five minutes. And um, Not that it caught us off guard, but it's just, I think, yeah, we just didn't match that intensity in the first five minutes. And we knew Bulldogs were going to bring the pressure straight up and we, yeah, we just weren't as ready as they were at the start. Do you take it as a bit of a reality check? Just with, you know, I suppose when you're, when you're winning games, football can probably feel easy sometimes and feel fun and natural, but sometimes, you know, do you feel like that game's a little bit of a reality check that, um, you know, any, anything can happen on any given day, I suppose? We'll definitely learn from it. And that's the thing with football, like, yeah, like you're saying, we need to um, get better through the season. So it's definitely a learning curve for us. And I think it's something that will help us through the season. So we definitely will um, we'll review it this week. And I think it's definitely going to help us. Um, it's a tough season. like, And especially with the amount of games we play, obviously um, every game is important to try and make finals. So we definitely need to learn from it quickly. Um, but there are, it's obviously positive, like we talked about, that fight back um, is something to take from it. I suppose watching on, on the telecast, it, it really did seem like if you just had another 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, like you guys were going to score in that last patch where it was locked in the forward kind of, you know, 15, 20 metres. Was there, I mean, in hindsight, it's, I suppose it's easy to say, but in hindsight, do you think perhaps you could have just fisted it over and taken the draw? Or was the mentality, do you think, to try and scrap and, and find, try and find a goal there to, to run away with the win? Yeah, I'm not too sure um, what everyone was thinking. I was obviously on the last line, just hoping that, yeah, either we'd um, get the ball over the line for a point or, it, or hopefully get a goal, but it was just so congested. And I, I know the Bulldogs did what they were trying to do on the line. So, um, yeah, I was just standing back there hoping that um, we'd get some result, but um, yeah, obviously we didn't, but yeah, we'll take a lot of learning from the game.
were you tempted as a kind of taller key position player to just abandon the last line and run in and try and push it over or how did, how did it kind of play out to your eyes? Yeah, well, obviously everyone just ran in and try, trying to create that congestion right on the line. And I sort of, there was still a few Bulldogs players out there. So I just thought, well, my role is to be at the last line. So I've got to just stay back and just in case it comes out or something. But yeah, I just sort of um, stood there um, as the backup. Awesome. Thanks for that. No worries. Thank you. All right, Ellie. Um, hey, Sarah. I uh, hope you're well. Um... There were, you mentioned before that there was some learnings um, coming out of that match. What were some of those and what are you looking to take out of that game and bring it into next week? Yeah, so we'll look through um, our review this week. So we haven't um, done too much yet with the game being yesterday, but I think just from, um, I think, yeah, just that making sure we take every opportunity for every game um, and, yeah, just, I think the fight, but I think there are some positives definitely to take from it, like that fight back, um, that we showed that, yeah, we can um, climb back to teams, um, which is, I think, something that we um, have struggled, struggled to do in the past. So I think that's definitely a positive to take from it. But, yeah, like I said, we'll do the review um, and you've got to make sure you turn a situation like that into a positive and that's what we'll do. We've got, we've got great coaches behind us and they'll make sure we learn from this um, and we'll make sure it takes take us into the rest of the season in good hands. Awesome. And it did take you guys a while to sort of warm up, but what was sort of that switch then saw you guys almost turn on? I think we've always been a team that brings the pressure right from the start. And obviously they, they set us with a really high intensity and we had to match it. So I think just um, knowing we had to match that intensity um, that they were bringing um, and really put a fight on out there. Um, and obviously we were down, so we really had to work hard to catch up. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Jace, are you? Yeah, all good? yeah, I'm here now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I thought I was dealing with some dial-up internet connection there. Sarah, um, Erin Phillips had a bit of an uncharacteristic miss at the end of the match. Did she talk about it after? And how did she feel about that situation at the end? No, obviously we just went in as a group and we sort of did the review as a like a or our chat after the whole team and just sort of focused as a team on what what we need to do better and what we can learn from that and obviously it's not just on one player it's on every single person in the team to um play their role and we'll we'll, we'll review that and it's yeah it doesn't come down to certain moments at the end it's it, like from the start of the game if we had have yeah been switched on at the start it really sets the scene so um we'll review that and yeah it's on all of us yeah how quickly does your attention turn now to gws and making sure you can get the win yeah, so we'll review the game pretty quickly, um, obviously with the turnaround and then, yes, um, on to our next opposition. So, um, and we'll take those learnings into the next game, but, and just take each game as it comes and obviously, yeah, just making the most of every opportunity we get.